I am grieved and deeply saddened that I must come to you this evening about a serious issue affecting our entire community. The shocking outbreak of gun crime in the past two weeks, which has seen two young Caymanian men killed and left eight other people wounded, cannot and will not be allowed to continue. We cannot have our citizens living in fear. In reaction to the recent shootings, I called an emergency meeting with the Governor and all members of Parliament so the Police Commissioner could brief us about this grave situation. Following on from that meeting, we held an emergency meeting of the National Security Council to agree a number of measures to help fight against gun crimes. But right now, I'm making an urgent appeal to the people involved in the shootings. Please stop the bloodshed. Life is too precious for these senseless acts of violence. No one has to tell me the pain of losing a loved one. It is real, it hurts, and it's forever. This isn't a game. There is no restart button. People know where the guns are. Their parents, girlfriends, baby mothers, brethren. If you want to save the life of your boyfriend, your child, or a young man you care about, help us take these guns off the street. Unfortunately, a culture has emerged in our community where people don't want to provide information to the authorities. We talk about transparency in government. Well, transparency and accountability is a two-way street. It's time for those who know where the guns are to do the right thing and to help take the guns off the street and out of our community. It is also unfortunate that social media has been making the situation worse. Please pay attention to the facts provided by the authorities. I would also like to ask everyone in our community to refrain from circulating unfounded rumors and speculation. It causes far more harm than good. I am keenly aware that the social ills such as the inequity and the disenfranchisement that has led to a subculture of gun possession and criminality didn't emerge overnight. Our government is committed to addressing the deep-rooted issues as a matter of priority. But right now, our focus has to be restoring law and order, peace and tranquility, and getting illegal firearms off our streets. The police cannot do it alone. The government cannot do it alone. We must stand together as a community and not allow misguided elements to rain terror and bloodshed on our community. I want to speak directly to any person who feels like they're already in too deep. You might think to yourself that there is no way out for you, but there is another option. Come forward. If you have information that leads to an arrest, arrangements can be put in place to ensure your safety. Any information, no matter how trivial you may think it is, could be a huge help in solving these crimes and stopping the violence. Please, let's all work together for a kinder and gentler Cayman. Let us face this challenge together with a renewed commitment to do our part to break this cycle of violence. I want to end by extending my sincere condolences to the families of the deceased young men and wishing a speedy recovery to all those who were injured. Please rest assured that the forces of good in our islands will overcome this sad tide of violence. May God bless our beloved Cayman Islands.